Hi guys. So if you hear that door, you probably won't see this because I won't upload it as my guess, unless it's something quick. But uh, I am at work, so I am recording this in the hopes that I don't get a patient while I'm recording it. But I decided to start the first of my unboxings because I have so many guys, so I'm gonna start uploading them and just loading them up and then you can watch them when you want with, yay, the Everyday Witch Oracle, which I'm so excited about, guys, because uh, Everyday Witch is one of my um, go-to decks. I love that deck, really, really love that deck. And um, it couldn't be more perfect. Uh, I don't mind at all that the tarot deck is tarot sized and the oracle deck is a little bit bigger. It kind of differentiates. I don't want them to be both the same size, but the artwork, you know, is the same artist. They're made by the same company. So I, it, I actually used both decks in readings yesterday and it worked out great. They really complement each other. I really like both of them a lot. So I think this is going to be fabulous. Uh, the good thing about this is I think it's a real upgrade to have this size box, to have the card size box. Uh, for the tarot deck, uh, there's, you know, the big boxes. And they're great, but they're hard to carry around with you. So I usually end up putting it, you know, in one of Deb's glorious bags here uh, that she did for us for tarot stock. Um, but these are great hardback, you know, hard boxes, uh, two pieces, so you pull them right off. Here's the beginning. This is, or here's the beginning. Here's the beginning. Here's the top. Uh, this is by Llewellyn. Yep, Llewellyn. And same exact artist, same exact theme, same exact um, feeling as the Everyday Witch Tarot cards. Here's the back here, and it says, glasses, improve your craft with magic cats, pointed hats, and spell work galore. Combining charming images of witches in their everyday lives with brilliant wisdom that can be used for divination, magic, and calls to action. Everyday Witch Oracle makes it easy to find the answers and inspiration you need. Full of whimsy, but serious enough to help you through the toughest times this deck and its full color companion book is the perfect choice for witches and readers of all skill levels. Now, and I will tell you, I used the um, both of the decks yesterday for readings at work. And now I'm going to, you know, because a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, but could you use them for readings for other people? Here's the thing. Uh, if you are reading for like Catholics who don't admit that they're really witches, even though most of us, come on guys, let's be honest. We are reformed Catholics, right? Uh, they work great. I, I use them for people at work who obviously are not witches, but they know I am a witch. Uh, and they're really cute. It's not like it's really super dark. It's really light and cute and the images are cute. And uh, everybody I did a reading for yesterday really loved it. So there you go. The guidebook is in here and uh, fits in the box, which is so great. Again, I have the tarot deck and has a huge guide to it, which is great and has lots of information in it, um, but I don't use the books anyways. So I don't really need a huge guidebook. Um, I probably will never use, like open this again, except to show you, um, because I intuitively read, especially Oracle cards. I mean, I intuitively read tarot too, but uh, once in a while, if I see something, I'm like, I wonder why they put that in there. I'll look in case it's in there. So there's about the author, about the artist. And then the cover page here goes into the contents, which has uh, chapter one, how to use this deck. The one thing I will say, and two things, uh, well, I'll say two things. First of all, uh, there is a lot of information in the beginning before you get to the meanings of the cards, which is fine. If you are reading all of that information and you are a brand new beginner person and want to read through because it tells you how to use this deck, how the cards are divided, how the cards progress, chapter four, which I probably should read because there's probably a point to how they progress. 
Um, and I will tell you, they're not in the order they came in, but when I shuffled them to use them, uh, I was going to put them back in order, but I that's probably how the cards progress. That's probably a good idea for me to look at, right? Because they're not in alphabetical order. And once again, this is maybe the second or third deck that I've noticed this with. There's no numbers to these, which is fine if you don't use the book. If you're a beginner and you use the book, then you're going to be looking through every page to see if you can find this one card to find the corresponding uh, blurb about what the card means. It doesn't really bother me because I'm not going to use the book. But if you're a person who uses the book a lot, you might want to think about numbering the card somehow in the, you know, just in the bottom left-hand corner or something so that you know you can find it easier. Just a suggestion. If you don't use the book, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see how the cards progress. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me read this real quick so we can all learn because I didn't look at the book. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the 40 cards in the decks are divided into groups of four with 10 for each. Earth, air, fire, and water. So they're divided into elements. Not only are these elements an integral part of witchcraft practice, but they also surround us in our daily lives. Each different element has its own basic theme and a progression of that theme throughout the 10 cards. You can, of course, come up with your own variations on these themes, but here is how I have set them out. Earth starts with grounding and goes to practical action. All right, so if you can tell that there's an earth card, plant the seeds, all right, that has to be an earth card. That's good, at least you can go to the earth section to look for it, right? Uh, air goes from thought and through communication. Fire goes from creativity and through to passion. Water goes from change and through to movement. These themes may not make much of a difference if you are pulling random cards, although if you are pulling a series of cards and they all fall within the same element, the universe may be trying to tell you something. On the other hand, if there's an area of your life where you feel that you need to focus more attention, you might want to start out by working with the cards that fall under that theme. All right, that works. For instance, if you're feeling stuck, spend some time with the water cards. If you're having interper interpersonal issues, maybe try using the air cards and how they progress. Just as the cards are divided into four themes, though within those themes there's a general pattern. Keep in mind that each time you use the deck, these cards may mean slightly different things because you're gonna read them intuitively. Blah, 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 sorry. I'm sure it's great information, guys, but I'm not gonna read them. Uh, so that helps, though, to know that they go from, uh, you know, just starting out in that element and going through kind of mastering the element and then hopefully it'll be easier if you need to find the readings for those to find affirmation for accept acceptance so i would assume that that would be air i don't know if that's for sure but she's kind of sitting on the broomstick and she's up in the air and there's birds around her and stuff i would assume that would be air let me look let's see affirmation or accept it. Fire. Air. And that is air. So that at least will help you to go through that. Uh, then there is in the booklet sample spreads and there's quite a few. One card, two cards, and several different for each. Past and present, two of the same number, two of the same general purpose, three cards, and then it gets to the cards. So on page 21, it starts with Earth, and it goes through the cards. There's not pictures in the book with it. Again, doesn't bother me because I'm not going to be using it really. And then it goes all the way through, and uh, it's a fairly, you know, it goes through... 96 pages of the cards and then at the end how to use this deck with the everyday witch tarot oh i love it naturally this deck this oracle deck can be used completely on its own but some people will want occasionally to combine its use with the its companion deck there are a couple different ways to do that do a regular tarot spread and then a card from the oracle deck to clarify the reading you could do that 
Pull one card from each deck, see if there's a unifying message when you put them together. Pull one to three cards from each deck every day for a week or a month and write down which cards you're getting. See if there's consistent repeats or ways in which the messages from one deck support or reinforce the messages from the other. Uh, and then it keeps going a little bit, uh, goes to six other ways to do it. To write to the author. Oh, if you would wish to contact the author. Oh, that's cool. I don't know why you, I mean, you know, snail mail is awesome, but we could always uh, email her now too, right? Hi, we're back, I hope. So as you can tell, I'm not, I'm kind of, um, you know, leaning this up against something at work here. So I'll remember not to bang around too much, I hope. All right, so here we go. Again, these are not in the order that they came in. The, let me do this upright, good. The backs of the cards are super cute. They have little kitties on them and then they have a circle with the elements, you know, something to represent the element, a fire, a feather, uh, a branch for earth, and a splash of water for the water, and then four different kitties. And going around a star, which they go very well with the tarot deck. See, very same, similar theme. But here is the tarot deck, you can see, and here's the oracle card. So the tarot deck is very much tarot, regular Llewellyn tarot sized. And then the oracle deck is, you know, a little bit wider, a little bit taller, which is great for me. Uh, cardstock, I'll say these are a little on the thin side. Uh, Llewellyn cardstock notoriously uh, is a little on the thinner side. It's never bothered me. Uh, I know... It, it wears a little bit, maybe a little bit sooner than some other kinds of decks. It, that just doesn't bother me very much. Um, to me, if it, there's a little wear on it, it means it's a well-loved deck. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to um, break down very fast or anything, but it, you know, it, it may wear a little bit. I don't know if I'll do the edges of these. I don't think I ever did. No, I haven't done my um, Everyday Witch Tarot either, so. Possibly, I, I think I've been saving that. I really wanted something different for it and I can't remember what I wanted to do that in, but I'm kind of glad I have it now because now maybe I'll want to do it the same. Okay, so we see the backs of the cards. They are a little thin, but that's okay. Let's look at the cards. Tears of joy and sadness. So cute, love it. So look at the mirror image here. She is joyful, Kitty's joyful, and she is, mirrored image is sad. And Kitty looks sad. So to me, and look at the little droplets. So that must be water. She has a cup in her hand. So we're talking about emotions, water. And I'm not gonna go that slow through all of them because it's already 13 minutes and I'm determined to have these unboxings under a half hour. We'll see. Prayers and wishes, down the wishing wall there, with the kitties in the background, and there's some doves up top. <gasps> I love this card. Rebirth and reinvention. Oh, I love this one. That's going to be one of my favorites. Look at the turtles coming up on the beach here with the kitty, the dolphins in the background, the setting sun. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous card, love it. Water magic, love her. Oh, look at the water coming up and forming the dolphin fountain here. Love it, look at the kitty getting into mischief in the goldfish bowl. Great, great, very whimsical, very cute. Everyone I read, it, read with this deck yesterday, love these cards, they're very cute. Here's fire magic. We've got the kitties playing with the candles, just what we want, right? Look at, the kitty is knocked over the candle and look at, there's a salamander, which is uh, that uh, it is a very much fire-based animal that's very traditional. With the campfire here and she's doing fire magic in front of her. She's gorgeous, by the way. 
hibernation, <clears throat> excuse me, and regeneration. Oh, wouldn't we all love to find a crystal cave? I would sleep in there too. I love, she's got, you know, her shoes off, her little striped socks. So cute. Meditation for peace and serenity. Now there are, it must be there was one meditation card for each element because I know I pulled two of them for the same reading yesterday. So I said, okay, must be you need to spend some time in meditation. But look at here's the doggy up in the float above and no kitty on this one. So this one is doggy and fishes. Sorry guys, that's my fax machine in the background. Joy and delight. Oh, and she is joyful. The kitties chasing the kitty, chasing the doggy. They're having a picnic. Her skirt is, you know, because she's a witch, she's able to keep it around her ankles while she's doing a cartwheel. <laughs> so cute. I'm loving these cards. Earth magic. Oh, gorgeous. Look at her altar there. Talk about, you know, the, the female version of the uh, magician card with the altar out in front we have crystals salt and sage the full moon in the background ah, and the kitty at her feet playing with the crystals <laughs> listening to wisdom oh i love this too look at here's a, a very aboriginal looking native looking woman gorgeous listening to the raven whisper in her ear Beautiful card. Affirmation for positive change. Oh, I love it. Look at, is that not the three of wands kind of setting right there too? She's taking her dress off. She's going to become kind of a pirate here. Look at, is that a mermaid in the background? Hang on. Yep. Ah, love it. And Kitty's going with her. Okay, I'm going to speed up, I promise. Cleansing body and spirit. Oh. All right, so first thing I noticed, first of all, I love the element symbol is on the bathtub. Love that Mama Kitty cleansing, cleansing body and spirit. Mama Kitty is a bathing baby here. I love that gorgeous clawfoot tub with the goldfish. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Healing waters. With the fox, the waterfall. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at it. He's come from the desert setting in the background. Beautiful. Learn from life. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. So here we have all these books, scrolls. The element symbols here of Earth. And what is she going to do? Come on out. Let's learn from life outside. Sometimes put the phones down, put the books down. Go outside. <gasps> Love. All right, see, I know I'm going to say this. <gasps> Love this. Okay. Make a move. But look at the dark clothing on the witches with the white hats. I love that. I love that the kitty has a friend in the otter here and the little fishes. Beautiful. At twilight. Inspiration and courage. This is the one one of the um, cards I pulled yesterday for uh, someone I read for from one of my querents. Very fire energy card. Love the high cheekbones here, pulled back hair. Beautiful. Seasonal harvest. Love this too. Look at, we've got a tattooed witch in the garden, hanging out with the kitty. She's got her bowling in hand and she's harvesting some herbs. Seasonal harvest, which we are in the harvest time now, right? Change and progress. Beautiful. Down some white rapids kind of stuff. I love, can we see Kitty's face? It's kind of like, okay, I hope you know what you're doing, dude. 
very pretty very six of uh, swords kind of energy there too oh go with the flow absolutely look at her face heck yeah just let the boat go where it made she threw the oars right out of the boat behind her Ha! Ah, and the willow tree in the background that's my kind of setting right there speak your mind oh I'm not gonna say oh I love this <laughs> so we have the dandelion wishes in the air we have a oh, gorgeous crowned looks like you know the uh, holly king almost the kitties meeting up so cute given to passion oh look at gorgeous beautiful woman in the flowing red dress we have the kitty trying to get the butterflies and the music she's creating in the wilderness just love it we have look at fire energy there's the little salamander too just to give you a hint of fire energy i bet you'll find that card in the fire energy cards prosperity and abundance ah all that hard work you spent in your garden and now you get to enjoy it with a glass of wine a piece of cake your kitties to play at your feet perfect love it affirmation for healing the heart oh i love this the doggies at at their feet the hearth in the background the uh, sage creating the smoke the healing cleansing smoke here and to me very much daddy daddy is going to make it okay broken-hearted teenage witch i love that affirmation for growth love it love it she's got the earth element right here on her dress she's a bigger gale like me they did say that they were um, putting in some more diversity in this deck as far as uh, race diversity body shape diversity background diversities gender diversity so i'm pleased to see that's happening follow your dreams oh, so cute lots of men in this deck and i i'll be honest with you i don't remember seeing men in the tarot deck anyway at all so that's good but looking out the window here or it could be just an androgynous woman perfect but i love look at the kitty dreaming also gotta love maybe <laughs> how are we doing 23 minutes okay i'm going affirmation for acceptance we looked at that one a little bit that was with the air energy and the crows sitting right up see the uh tornado here in the background love it fate she's reading the book of fate meditation for clarity oh beautiful reflection of the sky i love that we don't see the sky but we see the reflection in the water there beautiful imagine and envision gorgeous lots of pink skies in here i love it this is almost a seven of cups kind of card boy look at all that you, you know unicorns and crowns and money and <laughs> Flying mice, the kitty's just about to reach it. All that coming through your imagination. Give love. Oh, I love it. Beautiful, the moon face, which, okay, let's be honest, that's a little creepy, but eh, it's all right. But I love, they're coming to, to profess their love, the, flames making hearts in the fire and then we've got two kitties who are professing their love to <laughs> ground and center <gasps> beautiful oh look at that druid or native born it could be a medicine wheel or i think of the druid circle 
Beautiful. Gorgeous. Connect with Gaia. Oh, this is my card, you guys. If you uh, watch any of my healing videos, you will see that I talk about um, growing uh, roots out of your feet and Mother Gaia's roots coming up with that green healing energy and exchanging that energy. And boy, that is just me. Look at the eyes in the tree. Uh, this is my card. I'm going to have to get like a print of this because that's my card, guys. I love it. Strength and resilience. Oh, gorgeous autumn card. Strength and resilience through the, we have standing stones, an altar, autumn time, that, that strong wind of, of autumn. Beautiful. I love this deck. Plant the seeds. So just starting out with that earth energy, right? Gorgeous. Gratitude and thanks. Ugh, that's an empress look. That Mother Gaia welcoming, nurturing spirit. The rosy cheeks, your big smile. Oh, I love it. Meditation for creativity. Ooh, is that a fire wand spirit energy? Even the kitties are, and the doggies are painting. So cute, love it. Air magic. Oh, hell yeah, look at that beautiful peregrine falcon. Beautiful. The incense. Accept love. Oh, don't we all need some of that? Accept love, fire energy. Mm -mm -mm. Meditation to dig deep. I, I drew this one too. This was the other meditation card I drew. So really dig in there and find your treasures. They're there if you're, you dig deep enough. Transformation and change. Gorgeous. Butterfly spiral here in the corner. And, butter, and the sky spiral up, up top. Very much synchronicities, synchronicities right? And finally, sun and stars. Look at her. Oh, like a female Galileo looking out to the stars, maybe creating some herself. Beautiful. Gotta say, guys, I am loving these cards. I love it, I love it, I love it. It was worth the wait. We waited a long time for this deck, and I'm so glad it's out. I love it. I have to say this was a gift from Karen one of our incredible viewers. Thank you so much, my sweet Karen. I adore these. All right, guys, until next time, I love you so much. Blessings, blessings.